Today I'm going to show you how to make hard candy. You can make it any flavor you like, any color you like. You don't even have to add in flavoring or coloring and it tastes wonderful. Here are your ingredients, but don't worry, I'll include a link below that will give you full nutrition information along with some more details. When it comes to making hard candy, you want to have everything prepared. Have yourself a 9 by 13 or a 23 by 33 centimeter pan lined with foil, a cooling rack, a couple jars of cold water, and if you have a pastry brush with some water, that's beneficial as well. In a three quart heavy bottom saucepan, you're gonna add in three cups or 600 grams of white sugar, and to that, you're gonna add in some corn syrup or also glucose syrup will work, and you want one cup of that or 240 milliliters. Once you get that in, you're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of water or 180 milliliters. And then you're gonna give that a quick stir until you don't see it as much at lumps and it's more cohesive. If you don't have corn syrup or glucose syrup, I'll give you a link below that will show you how to make this with just sugar and water, but it's a little more difficult, so keep that in mind. You're going to bring this to a boil and once it starts boiling, you stop stirring it. You don't touch it at this point forward. At first, it'll look foamy like this. If you see any sugar crystals climbing up the sides, use that pastry brush and brush them back down carefully. It's gonna change in texture and it's gonna slow down. And at that point, you wanna check it. And it's gonna create these threads like this. Once it creates this, you're gonna check it by letting it cool and it's not quite there. This is a hardball stage. You can press it, but you can't break it. And it also forms a really hard ball. This is very close to where you want it to be. So just give it a few more moments and you're gonna check this every like one to two minutes, but be really careful because it's super hot at this point and make sure you use cold water. This stage is ready. As you can see, it is a thread and it breaks super easy. For those using a thermometer, that's 300 to 310 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 to 154 C. At this point, we're gonna add in our flavoring, which is one tablespoon of any flavor you like and food coloring is optional. Turn off that heat, remove it from the heat immediately. If you want a swirl effect, just do what I'm doing right here. But if you want a uniform color, Give it a quick stir before you pour it into your pan. And be very careful at this point. Wherever you pour this candy, leave it. If you like, you could have scored it and then cracked it, but I'm gonna show you the traditional way and why it's called glass candy right now. Now this takes about 35 to 45 minutes to cool, sometimes a little longer, sometimes a little less. Make sure it's completely cool before you touch it and move on to this point and you just carefully peel off that foil and you're going to put it onto a towel and cover it with something else. I like to use wax paper and the wax paper is covered because if you don't, and when you smack this candy, it flies everywhere. And even though it's not glass and it is hard candy sugar syrup, it will cut you like glass if you go to pick up these shards if you're not careful. So just keep that in mind. If you see any pieces of aluminum foil stuck, make sure you remove it before you break it because then it's hard to find it and you don't want anybody eating this aluminum foil. Okay, I'm gonna just flip it out onto the towel and put aside the cooling rack. Look how beautiful the swirl effect is. Okay, with the back of any kind of spoon, you're gonna give it a good whack. And the more you hit it, the more it will shatter. See how that piece just flew out? Imagine if this wasn't covered. It would be everywhere, all over your kitchen. Trust me, I've done it and I've made a mess and it's not fun. However, if you wanna to try to be adventurous, go ahead. It is absolutely a wonderful candy to make for gifts. You can actually make this into cough drops if you use the right thing, say use some lemons. And this is what it will look like when you're done. It's really nice and shiny if you do that swirl effect. It almost looks like an amethyst, I think. What do you think? Let's give you a couple more to look at. This is a really fun recipe to make. Just be careful in the kitchen when making it and don't touch it until it's absolutely cool. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Visit us at jacksonjob.com for more. And as always, happy baking.